Okay guys, box number two. Um, so, I know what this one is. This has been used, and this is from France. England was a little bit dry for cheap access cars. So I saw this on eBay and I went for it. Um, again, I'm not a fan of the VXL system in case you don't know guys. Yeah, it's been nothing but headache. So that will end up on eBay, yeah? The actual rig itself is absolutely amazing guys. The classic rig, you can't beat it. But the rest of it, the electrics, I've never really been a fan of. Uh, they definitely could have done a much better job with them. And I think they definitely need to get with the VXL upgrade something else. Okay. Now why did I go for this? Uh, simply because I bought my slashes quite a while ago. And um, so all this audio stuff that's come out, it wasn't really part of the equation when I got my slashes. And I just wanted to try them out. I've just, a little curiosity got the better of me. And I thought, you know what? Let's try the VXL system out. Has it improved? So trust me, we had four slashes running and they all had problems with the VXL system. And I loved the car, the truck so much. And I absolutely hated the system. So eventually I got rid. And that's where we are today. Okay, so we have the charger here, guys. Alright. And let's turn this little bad boy over. And get him out. That would actually make a pretty cool police car. I think it would. Okay, it tracks some bits and bobs. Again, all that standard stuff. Let me get the remote out from here, I got one shut. Yeah, I think we all know what the remote looks like. Oh actually no, this one's gonna be different because it has got the audio. So this will be an education for me as well. Get out you little beggar! Uh, <laughs> it's exactly the same! Oh kind of, yeah it is. Link enabled. Thank you for that. Okay. Get ready to Let's have a look at this. Hmm. That would make a police car though. To have a slash police car. I don't like my police chases. And I need to do an off-road police chase. So. So the first plan was I was going to turn this into an on-road. Uh, on-road car. Um, I was basically going to do. Because I sold off one of my. On-road cars. I was basically going to convert that to on-road uh, and have my Skyline channel on it. Okay, that's what I was going to do. I sold that off. Somebody wanted, somebody offered me some good money for it, so I sold it. I thought, right, I'll build another one up. Again, shoe good on the inside with lights and everything. Okay, and let's put you over here. Right. So, okay, let's see what's under the hood. And again. Uh, I think the standard Taxus package as in all the bits and bobs that come with it. So stickers, book, and yeah, that's just pretty cool for the new people. And you know what I used to really hate? I don't know, do you guys like program that stuff? I used to hate that stuff. Once you start doing it, you start to know it by heart, you don't even <laughs> you don't need to look at the book anymore. And once you stop. You don't even know what time of day it is with that. Because I can never remember how to get it going again. I had to watch, I had to read the book or watch videos all over again. Okay, standard stuff comes with a pinion. I think it's a 18 or 19 tooth. Yeah, but <laughs> straight away I sack all that stuff off, guys. I, I straight away go to bigger motors, because it can handle it, drivetrain can handle it all day long. And I go to, um, so the bigger motors have bigger, uh, five millimeter shafts, and then I can run big opinions. And I tend to go to mod one gearing. Guys, I have left a lot less issues on mod one gearing than I do on the thirty two pitch and the mod uh, the zero point eight. Okay, so that's your audio system, which I don't even like. To be honest with you guys, it just sounds really kind of odd. It doesn't sound beefy or mean or anything like that. Okay. 
and here we are and it feels good to have the real deal in your hand again so a new battery VXL system yeah and the onboard audio at the front over here all right you've probably seen loads of videos but like I say uh, it, it won't be hanging around too long I'll, I'll try the VXL system and I'll give them one more go and if it's still overheating and it still has problems it's it's disappearing quick and I'll just put another 18 system inside it they run perfectly 18 system guys they don't overheat too much either uh, and you really unleash the beast it was fun with the VXL system guys don't be wrong but the way I like to run my stuff and the speed I like to go at this thing couldn't handle the heat it could not handle the heat and it couldn't get out of the kitchen either so yep that's that okay so that's Mr Fox whoever it is looks nice like I say guys I'll probably just um, vinyl wrap and I could turn that into a nice police shell if I wanted to do off-road these chases. We shall see. Okay, that's just another quick unboxing, guys.